In this video we'll be looking at this memory expansion board for an uh, IBM PC 5150. So as you can see uh, it has components only on this side. On this other side there are no components. <clears throat> this is a 6-pack plus memory expansion and IO card. I uh, printed a couple of pages from the data sheet. So um, it's called a 6-pack plus memory expansion and IO card for the IBM personal computer, IBM PC XT and other compatible machines. And this uh, user manual is from 1983. So uh, let's have a look at the diagram. I will align it with the board. So we can see here the memory chips uh, organized in uh, six banks. So let's see it on the board. So uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six banks. Uh, similar to the memory on the CPU board, uh, these are all uh, chips with uh, one bit uh, and uh, they are using eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, to form a byte and we have an additional bit for the parity. I've actually tried to find a data sheet for uh, these chips. Uh, I wasn't able to find the exact uh, data sheet. I've uh, printed a similar one still from uh, Oki, but uh, the chips here are M3764 uh, 15S. And I have MSM3764A, but should be similar. So it's uh, uh, 65,536 word uh, of one bit uh, dynamic RAM. Uh, now, if we look a bit more at the diagram, uh, we see there is a clock battery. Uh, actually, on my particular model, the battery is here, and on the diagram, it should be here. Uh, there is a parallel printer port, this one. Uh, for this one, of course, we need a cable that plugs in here and uh, allows this. Uh, to be used outside of the case. Uh, we have here a game adapter port connector. So this one here. Uh, we have a serial interface here and there are uh, some uh, configuration jumpers for the serial interface. We have uh, uh, the switch one uh, memory configuration switch. So this one, we'll see more details about this one soon. Uh, we also have, of course, the uh, connector that plugs in the motherboard. And uh, we have a couple of jumpers. Uh, this is a port enable jumper block. So this one, which allows enabling or disabling different features on the board. And we also have an uh, IRQ uh, enabled jumper block. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, some interesting stuff from the user manual. So first of all, um, the system board must be fully populated with 256 uh, kilobytes of memory before utilizing any expansion card memory. Uh, this of course applies to my version of the 
IBM 5150. Uh, so the system board must be fully populated before uh, inserting this expansion card or presumably any other expansion card. Uh, also, the maximum memory capacity of the system is uh, 640 kilobytes. Uh, regarding the switch settings, uh, it says uh, three functions uh, that must be configured are starting address of the 6-pack plus. So um, where is this uh, memory going to be mapped? Uh, obviously, it should be uh, right after uh, the memory from the system board. So then why we need this setting well uh, first of all it's possible to use it in a system with uh, 64 uh, kilobytes of memory or in the version with 256 kilobytes of memory so obviously you need to set this up uh, also in theory it's possible to uh, add multiple memory expansion boards so in this case, uh, again, uh, you should decide if you want this uh, to go uh, right after the system board memory or uh, after the other expansion board. So in any case, you need to set the starting address. Then you need to configure the amount of memory installed on the board. Uh, as you can see here, uh, these chips can be uh, removed. So you may have uh, one or two or three or four or five or all six banks populated. So depending on this, you need to, si to set the amount of memory actually installed on the board. And uh, you also should decide if you want parity checking enabled or not. And as I mentioned, each bank has a parity bit. Uh, stored in these uh, chips and uh, you must configure if you want this enabled or not. Uh, regarding the actual settings, the user manual uh, gives us a table here and we also see uh, the switch. Uh, I will try to uh, raise the board a bit so you can see exactly how it looks like okay so um, it's actually in this position we have uh, switch number one here switch number eight here and it says here it's on uh, when it is uh, in this side. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, this setting. Uh, so uh, this is the starting address. I have here the first one is off, uh, second and third are on. So we have here off, on, on which corresponds to a starting address of 256 kilobytes. So uh, this corresponds to my system, which has a system board with 256 uh, kilobytes of memory, which is indeed fully populated. So after setting the starting address, um, we have the next uh, settings for the number of banks installed on the 6-pack plus. So uh, we have switches 4, 5 and 6. And we have on, on and off. So this corresponds uh, to this last entry, which corresponds to 6 uh, banks. And you can see this is true, all six banks are populated. And this actually uh, gives us a total of 
384 uh, kilobytes of RAM on this board, which means uh, together with the RAM from the CPU board, uh, this system is uh, now fully populated with uh, 640 kilobytes of memory. And the last uh, switch, switch number eight, uh, is the uh, parity check neighbor. And in uh, this setting, it is set to on. So uh, on parity is enabled. So this covers this particular switch. Now, uh, about the clock, uh, this board offers a real-time clock. Uh, I will not go into a lot of details. There are specific applications uh, mentioned here in the user manual. And uh, you presumably have to use these uh, in order to configure the clock. It's also possible to write a program to uh, make the clock generate interrupts and so on. Uh, however, uh, I wanted to show you this, uh, the battery backup power supply. Uh, it, the user manual mentions the battery life is approximately one year. So this is the battery and uh, I recorded a video about changing this battery. So the user manual uh, states it's approximately uh, one year. I also uh, remember a mention in the manual, I'm not sure if I printed it, uh, that uh, this battery is actually uh, used only when, uh, only when the system is powered off. So the actual uh, battery life depends on how much you use your computer. Uh, if you keep your computer on for longer periods, then also the battery life is prolonged because it's not used, obviously. Uh, it's also possible to uh, enable or disable uh, the clock. As I mentioned, there is a series of jumpers here that uh, are used to enable or disable uh, different features uh, on the board. Finally, the uh, game adapter port, so this one, uh, can also be uh, enabled or disabled. Now, uh, I also uh, took out uh, two data sheets, one for the real-time clock, so this chip here uh, this is called the microprocessor compatible uh, real-time clock. Uh, and um, uh, it allows uh, automatic leap year calculation. Uh, tens of seconds, seconds, tens of seconds, minutes, tens of minutes, day of week, days, tens of days, months, tens of months, it has independent registers, uh, protection for read during data changing, uh, independent interrupt system, and obviously it's TTL compatible. So uh, it can be used in uh, lots of applications as mentioned here uh, in the datasheet. But, as I said, according to the manual, uh, you probably need to implement uh, your own code to talk with this uh, chip here. And uh, we also have this large chip here by its position close to the serial interface. Uh, you may have already guessed that this is a uh, universal synchronous receiver transmitter also known as an UART. So uh, this allows um, receiving a byte of data, which is then uh, sent bit by bit uh, via the serial interface while handling uh, serial uh, protocol. 
uh, or uh, as the data sheet mentions, the UART performs serial to parallel conversion on data characters received from a peripheral device or a modem and parallel to serial conversion on data characters received from the CPU. The CPU can read the complete status of the UART and so on. So, uh, yeah, this board is uh, very useful and it will soon uh, go back in my uh, computer. So thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.